Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this one, let's take a close look at the new podium vehicle, the Tailgater S. Let's take a look at its exterior. It's interior the way it customizes in Los Santos Customs. Actually, the Los Santos car meet, but that's a story for a later part of the video. And ultimately, I'm gonna be telling you if this vehicle is worth it or not. Now that out of the way, let's start with the 360 on the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. And of course, first and foremost, uh, this vehicle is based on the... I'm assuming you're a German car guy if you know about the real world inspiration of this is the audi rs3 it's a beautiful one in game it's gonna cost you 1.5 million dollars and in terms of interactivity this is what you can do with the vehicle you can open all of its four doors the hood and the trunk and mm -mm -mm. this is a beautiful german engineering engine and uh this vehicle is part of the sedans category in gt online even though it's very sporty it uh yeah somehow it got uh yeah i don't know a sedan it has very BMW-like rims, as you can see here, and all in all, the exterior is really good. As for the interior, this is what the interior of the Telgator S looks like, and it's very, well, aside from this thing, it's very Tesla-ish. You know, the seats and everything, or maybe that's just me. In terms of the way the vehicle sounds, it's not very Tesla-ish. Beautiful. Now... Let's see what type of drivetrain we are dealing with here on the Telgate RS. And, wow, that was unfortunate. And for that, of course, we're going to do our very scientific test that uh, looks like this. And, uh, well, uh, it looks like it's a rear-wheel drive, but we're going to test this a little bit later, too. Now, with that out of the way, let's go to Los Santos Customs and see, first of all, how much we can sell it for, because this has been a question most of you have been asking me. How much this vehicle is selling for. So this is the first thing we're going to be checking out. And then we're going to be going to the Los Santos car meet and fully customizing the Telgate RS. And of course, as we are making our way first to Los Santos Customs and then to the Los Santos car meet, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the Telgate RS. And, uh, well, I've driven this twice before, I believe, uh, when it was on the podium. I believe it was on the podium in 2013 and 2022, maybe. But, uh... Yeah, it's definitely not a sports car, let me just put it that way. It's very sluggish in the way it turns, it's very, well, again, sluggish in the way it accelerates. Top speed, from what I can tell, is fairly decent, and uh, it's just a very blah vehicle. I don't know exactly what it is about it, but it's just very slow. It's probably, honestly, the best word to describe it. Um, I really, really want to like it, but so far, I'm not very impressed. Anywho, let's see how much we can sell it for. Then, as said before, this vehicle, even though it's a, technically a compact sedan, the RS3, it's part of the sedan's category. You can sell it for $11,000, which is not bad. So let's do this. Let's repair it and go to the Los Santos car meet. And once again, on our way there, we're going to be discussing the stock version of the Delgator S. Because after that, the stock version is going to go bye-bye. To quote a very famous line from the Matrix. Even though I didn't quote it, I kind of misused it. Anywho, back to the Telgate RS. It's a really fun looking vehicle that isn't that much fun to drive, as you can tell. It uh, it just leaves so much to be desired in the way it turns. Honestly, it kind of turns like a front wheel drive car. Aside from that part. It, uh, I don't, it has very much understeer. Unless you really force the corner, then it oversteers. It's really weird. It's very unbalanced. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully this is going to change when we do some customization over at the Los Santos car meet. Because, I don't know, but I believe this is one of those vehicles that has very cool customization. Or maybe it's not going to have any cool customization. Maybe it's not going to have any cool options. And, uh, yeah, it's still going to be a bummer to drive afterwards. Who knows? Well, you do, if you're watching this video from the future, because you already saw how it ends. But me, in the present, I have no idea. Maybe you can tell me in the comment section. <laughs> yeah, let's see, we are almost at the Los Santos car meet. And, uh, yes, pretty cool. This vehicle, like the Los Santos tuners, came out in 2020... I want to say one. I'm going to say and bet on 2021. Anywho, we are at the Los Santos car meet, so let's just get in, horrible brakes by the way, and see what we can customize. Of course, we need to go through our mandatory animations, which are incredibly annoying, but also incredibly necessary. So now we're gonna go 
Uh, I believe it was going outside of the vehicle, of course, mandatory. We need to get in and we need to look at our controls. So let's see vehicle controls and we want to do press the right arrow. And here we are, still a sedan. The reason we didn't come here first is because I wanted to see how much money we can sell it for. And as you can see, we have no sell option here, which is really a bummer. But as I keep saying, it is what it is. So let's upgrade. Well, let's just see. We don't have any. OK, so this is not a, uh, you know, a further customization, customizable vehicle. So, yeah, that's a bummer. It's not a house vehicle as the one that I was looking for. Yep, a bummer. Anyhow, let's upgrade all the performance options up front so you guys don't tell me that I'm stupid. At least, not for that. The engine block, whoops, not that one. We want to see the engine tune option. Fender, blah, 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 blah. License plate, suspension, such trips. Yep, this one we want to do. And uh, the turbo. Awesome. So let's start with the customization. And uh, this vehicle and also this dlc are famous for being very very nice at customizing which is something that i'm actually not seeing here seeing how we can only customize the splitter even though this All is the front bumpers option but yeah who's keeping count let's see the rear bumper also the rear splitter hey, situation Make sure you check out my interesting i by the way really like the livery rockstar chose for this one so thumbs up for that probably gonna go with the this one. Oh, this looks just so goofy. The engine. These are all the customizations you can do to the engine. I wonder if we can put a turbo on it. Maybe at least a supercharger. Let's see. Or maybe this is going to be in another section of customizing of customizing. That's probably going to be in the hood section. This is kind of cool. So we're going to be going with it in uh, Wow, that was a bummer. So we can delete one of the exhausts, or we can completely change them. Hmm. I think I want to go with this one. Kind of reminds me of a Need for Speed Underground 1 exhaust. I don't know exactly what it is about it, but it kind of does. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that statement. Or am I just slowly losing my mind? So we can do both fenders, or one of them? Definitely both. And uh, definitely going with the second uh, color because we want uh, the vehicle to be as weird looking as possible. Hood catches, definitely not on this one. And the moment of truth to see what we can customize on the uh, hood. And can we put some turbos on it? Okay, that's a big fat no. That's a bummer. Maybe we're going to go with this one because we are going to be removing the livery at some point. And that point is soon. Now, this being a Los Santos Tuners DLC vehicle, you can completely modify the interior of it. Uh, that's a bug. You see how the phone stand is here, but not here, even though it's the literally the same option. So if you go from the stock dash down to the full colored interior, you don't have a phone stand. But if you go from the whatever carbon race interior to this one, you have it. That's a weird bug. Interesting. And also I noticed the the vent doesn't change. You see the vent? The right vent in the middle? Interesting. So... Yep. Hooray for that. So these are all the options in case you were just curious. Blah, 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 blah. I really don't care. I'm not going to be spending money on this. But if you're into that type of thing, be my guest. Now, lights, liveries, here we are. Now, this is something that we're... Wow, this looks so cool. Ooh, interesting. So, let's see. These are all the liveries you can choose from. And I gotta say, I uh, am usually not a big fan of liveries. If you've seen my videos before, you know. But, uh, yeah, some of those are just insanely good. This one, it's very good. But this one in particular, or maybe even this one. It just looks crazy good. Uh, but we are... Whoops. Uh, we are going to be going with the none option because I am boring like that. The mirrors, we're going to go with the carbon ones, uh, of course. Can we go with carbon butt flaps as well? Okay, so that, in that case, count me out. The license plate, we are going to go with uh, the license. Ooh, we can remove the front one. 
Or maybe put it on the side. Or maybe just remove it. Yeah. And can remove the rear one as well. We cannot. So let's just go with the red one. And uh, we're going to be respraying, of course, the vehicle at the end of our Seattle Santos Customs. And as always, I asked you guys in a poll what car do you want me to make the vehicle in the video you're watching right now. Did I say car? I meant color. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty weird decision that we can't extend the camera to the front. Weird. Uh, anywho, I really don't like any of those, so we're going to be skipping them. A carbon roof. That's a cool idea. Makes the center of gravity lower on normal vehicles. In GT Online, it really doesn't matter. And uh, I know what you're going to say in the comments. It matters. Everything matters. No, it doesn't. Uh, also, the exhaust going below the sea level doesn't matter. The car just is going to flood regardless of where the exhaust is. It has more to do with uh, where the engine is placed. Or where the engine, you know, in-game block is placed. Anywho, that's a tangent for a completely different video. For now, let's just choose a... Uh, Kind of suitable side skirt. Maybe this yeah, one. See, about. the spoiler, the right. only visual component that, as you can see, has some impact on the performance of the vehicle. It increases the traction bar just by a eh, tiny bit. So let's see what other. Wow, those are really lazy. I gotta say, so far, I am not blown away by the customization. Definitely not. Let's go with this one because it's kind of minimalistic. Yeah, this one I don't like. The suspension. We can literally slam it to the ground. But I really don't like how the tires look like this. And do you agree with me? Those are totally BMW M tires. Uh, tires. I meant wheels. Rims. Yeah, cool. Uh, let's see. The trunk we can also modify. Definitely not gonna... Not gonna go ahead with that urge. Uh, the wheels, I like those, even though I really hate BMWs. Let's see, we can tint the car. Kinda suitable. And it's time to respray the Telgate RS. And as always, I asked you guys in a poll a couple of days ago what color do you, do you want me to make the vehicle in the video you're watching right now. And for this week, uh, well, surprise, surprise, most of you suggested to make it eggplant. I don't know if you guys just like how eggplant looks or you're just trying to tell me something, but uh, yeah. We, ooh, we are making it eggplant. Is this a bug? How buggy is this vehicle? But I gotta say, this looks cool. Anywho, yeah, we are making it eggplant color. So let's just see primary, metal. Actually, before. Hmm. Before making it metallic, let's just see how. Uh, well, technically, this is an eggplant color. Let's see. Probably my favorite color in GTA Online right now is gonna be this one. And uh, yeah, chameleon colors do look sick on it. Ooh, this looks good. <laughs> looks weird. Uh, but we are gonna be going with a normal uh, metallic color. So let's just see something that resembles an eggplant. So maybe something violet, maybe something purple, maybe even something pink. Who knows? Am I feeling adventurous? Uh, I guess this one. Oh, it does fit the vehicle very well. The secondary color, maybe chameleon, or whoops, or maybe not. Maybe do. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Um, maybe. This one looks cool like this. I'm digging it. So we're gonna be going with this one. The trim. Nobody cares. Make it red to match. Ooh, we can. Uh, the accent. Yep, biggest waste of money in the game. Well, probably outside of the phone stand that was buggy. The crew emblem on the side, and uh, yeah, I think that's a job well done. Now, usually we are exiting Los Santos Customs at this point, but uh, here, unlike Los Santos Customs, we need to go through the animations again. So let's just uh, do this, and uh, yeah, we need to exit. Awesome, fantastic game design. Now, let's see how the Telgator S performs after fully modifying and customizing it. It's still, in case you're wondering, a rear-wheel drive vehicle, and that's okay. Let me know in the comment section, by the way, if you have an RS3. Is, isn't it an all-wheel drive? I think all of the RS lines of Audi are all-wheel drive, or Quattro! 
But yeah, kind of feels weird that this one is rear-wheel drive. Or maybe I'm just stupid and every single one RS model is rear-wheel drive. Aside from the SUVs. Anywho, back to the game. Uh, yeah, this feels significantly snappier. Snapperier? It feels quicker. But uh, as you can see, a little bump can completely take you, just wipe you out. Something's wrong with the handling of this vehicle. And remember, I didn't... Wow, that's so unfortunate. I didn't really lower it that much. I lowered it just by one level. Because it looks stupid. But as also, also as you can see, it... Uh, yeah, now... Um, the problem with the steering now is reversed. Well, it's not reversed, but it's uh, even more noticeable. Now when you try to turn, the vehicle just understeers. Like it's... Uh, front wheel drive car as you can see and then it tries to overcorrect and you do something like this honestly this vehicle is complete garbage to drive if you're a fan of Audi I completely get it I have been a fan of pretty horrible things in the past as well mainly BMW which is why I hate it now Anywho, <laughs> if you like the brand itself you can get this car from the lucky wheel this week Customize it by your liking and never drive it. Keep it in your garage and admire it every single day. If you want to have a sedan that's going to win vehicles, uh, this is not it. And with that bombshell, we are going to be ending the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the Telegator S. And I will catch you all in the next one. And of course, we can't end the video before seeing... If this vehicle is off-road capable. And, uh, well, initial thoughts are it is. But after the initial thoughts, yeah, <laughs> it's not even good off-road. Who would have thunk? Well, at least it doesn't break easily. So, it has that going for it at least.